Hello, everyone. Well, I was inspired by a friend of mine, Diane, who was posting uh, an album she was playing, the album of the day. And I thought, oh my gosh, I haven't listened to my albums in literally decades. Um, I can't even remember the last time I actually had something to play them on. So I bought myself a cheapy little record player that I'm going to put together now. And then I'm going to try to play some records. So uh, bear with me with this uh, going together process. I don't know, man. I'm not very techy. <sighs> Here we go. Now I used to, well, when I was a kid, in hmm, 100 years ago, and well, I was born in 67, so when I was a little kid, the first record player I remember having uh, was in a little suitcase. It was in a little turquoise suitcase, and my mom gave me her old 45s to play that she had when she was young. Not young, young, but like a teenager. They were like, I, and I still have some of them. I don't know how I managed to save them because my mom was big on throwing stuff out. But um, I remember, here's the ones I remember off the top of my head. Um, blue Velvet by Bobby Vinton. She wore blue velvet. Yeah, I know, terribly. Uh, and let's see. I think, I think Hound Dog by Elvis Presley and Jan and Dean's uh, Dead Man's Curb and uh, Bad Finger, Come and Get It. Oh my God, I love that song. Uh, what else did she, she it would, there was quite a few. And I still have them. And if this has a little doohickey, remember those little things that go in the center? Or actually, I don't think that's what we had when I was that little. I remember we had a great, it was like a piece of furniture. Great big uh, console, I guess. That was an, uh, a stereo and a radio. And I mean, it was a huge, heavy piece of furniture and it had big speakers in it. And we had that. And when you played a 45, it was like, it was kind of like this, this is a clicker, but it was kind of shaped like this and went down on the center peg. And then you could put the 45s on top of that. Then later on, um, they had those little discs that you could put on. At least that's how I remember it. Okay, so let me see. I don't want that over there. Uh, let's see. So, retro turntable. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of cute. Okay. Well, I guess I should read the directions. I look at the directions. Okay, package content: main unit, AC adapter. Ooh, forty-five RPM adapter. Far out. Where is it? Maybe it's maybe it's on there. Oh, I guess I'll be able to play those 45s. Woohoo! External power adapter and remote control user manual. Here's the adapter and the remote control. How is the? Isn't the AC adapter an external external power? Does that mean? Well, it can't be the remote. I don't know. Okay, let's look. Remote control. Power on. Power off. Forwards, backwards, toggle, hmm. Switch between stereo, mono radio, okay. Hot panel, 45 RPM adapter, okay, so it's got one. Lift lever, auto, stop on off, speed selector, 33, 45, and 78. You know what, I used to have a stack of uh, 78s and they were how to learn French. And I had them when I was a kid. And um, I only remember one sentence from that thing. Let me see if I could do it. Prenons-nous le long du boulevard 
<laughs> so let's walk down the boulevard. Ooh, titties are tussling. Prenons-nous le nom du boulevard. Très bien. How come I, that's the only thing I remember? Hmm. Anyway. Okay, front panel. Okay, so this CD, USB, SD selection. What is SD? Uh, phono, record player selection, tuner, radio selection, LCD display, auxiliary, uh, timer and sleep, standby, Bluetooth, hmm. remote control, Bluetooth receiver, speaker, on off button, master volume, mode, okay, play a pause. That's got a lot of choices here. And I do have a lot of CDs. You know, it's too bad this doesn't have, well, you know, I do still have cassette tapes. I do. But I don't think they sound good anymore. I think I just like played them till they squeaked or played them until they got chewed up and were not savable. Um, and I do have somewhere, well, I don't know, recently um, I had a lot of stuff that went bye-bye. But I had an eight track tape of the Beatles and I think it was Revolver. And I saved it because, just because it was the Beatles, you know? My dad had a vehicle at one time that had an eight track in it. And, oh my God, that was so long ago. Okay, so let's see, installation, unpack all the parts, remove all protective. Okay, I think what I'll do is I will pause this and set it up and then try to play some records. So I will, uh, maybe I won't pause this. Mm. Okay, I'm going to do something. <laughs> I'm going to come back to you <laughs> um, while I try to play records. Okay, stand by, peoples.